Okay, guys, we're looking at Michael Lorenzen's lower half in this video that was more so intended to look at his dope van cleats. Um, but I want to showcase a couple things here in regards to a stable dry foot. You're going to see how he does a couple different taps here. This is a really good mechanism for guys that have some, some instability um, or just planning issues. Uh, we talk a lot about tempo and talk a lot about increasing acceleration rate in their in their dry phase and the the first piece is the most important is getting your feet your dry foot anchored into the ground stable right because then the next pieces can't become efficient um, if this first piece isn't efficient so you can see how he a couple toe taps here and then boom gets his footing now he is ready to then take his leg lift so we see boom initiation of his leg lift and then you're going to see this counter act of his pelvis as soon as he goes let's clear that let's soon as, as soon as he goes into leg lift you're going to see his pelvis then kind of corkscrew if you will and load up his rear hip check this out boom there it is boom now we see peak leg lift i like his glove how about that okay now we see that the foot was stable the dry foot was stable throughout this entirety of his leg lift, reaching peak leg lift. And now you can start to see that his lower his lower body starts to initiate forward momentum. And now as he descends, he's going to load up his drive leg. Boom. What up? Change up grip. And you can see that front foot kind of remaining closed. You can see a really good image here of him leading with the hips, remaining neutral pelvis, neutral trunk, turning of this foot, it's going to keep your pelvis neutral, and then going. Those are some hips right there, oh yeah. So we're going to see this guy, this guy this guy and this guy go this will be a really good image to like bring in comparison to like a bear sit hip mobility uh, movement transition Once that guy goes, this guy's going to go, this guy's going to go, this guy's going to go. I like drawing arrows. So this is where we can talk about, like, if you have capacity issues, right, if we were to put you in a bear sit and uh, force you to actively control your hip mobility, and if you can't get into these positions... You know, how are you going to do it when you're trying to go full speed? Look how jacked he is. <laughs> uh, but, all right, so we see, obviously you can't see if his front foot's anchored down, but we can see where his calf contracts. Let's go right there. Um, you can see the posture, though, right? So hips into rotation, trunk, neutral, 90. You can see this back foot heel off a little bit. Knee flexion and then absorb. Hip extension. He's also a guy that doesn't really shoot into like over aggressive lead leg block knee extension, but he still does his job. See how, see how, even though this is a change up, watch how his arm gets pulled through. All right, so you land and then you pull your arm through and it almost looks like his glove is like tucking, but his trunk is just, is just accelerating, which is going to then accelerate his hand into his slot. All right, like all of this is happening. And then you have this. That's a good angle that I look like like to look for as far as trunk uh, trunk extension or shoulder extension, trunk flexion, and uh, and hip extension as well.
I'm done drawing circles, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully you can make sense of that. But I really just wanted to do a video just to see Lorenzen's Vans cleats. Dope. Until next time.